It doesn't matter what kind of program it is, it's who's running the show. And I'm gonna tell you, with this guy running the show, or being there to run the show, things are gonna get done the right way, and you guys are about to hear how that gets done. Coach Phil Matus. Number five on your list, but number one in your heart, it's Phil Matus. There's a perception about yourself. There's also a reality. And so today I'm gonna to help you just kind of bring to reality kind of who you are. Through the uh, methods and the systems that we have in place at Ohio State. Uh, when I got asked to speak here, uh, I was like, I love elite FTS, I love training, I love everything that that the, the world of football and training has done for me because it's molded me. Uh, more so the people and the thing I take with me everywhere I go. And I'm lucky to learn this at a young age, relationships and experiences. You write those two things down. If you're taking notes, if you're not taking notes, if you got your phone out, you got no paper, ex relationships and experiences. Those two things are gonna weigh heavy on your heart and they're gonna help you someday, somehow, some way in your next step, your next journey within, within your walls, in your marriage, with your kids, in your business, whatever it may be. Uh, but when I got asked to speak, I was like, I was like, I promise not to swear, so I'm just I'm going to limit it to uh, to hell. So I was like, holy hell, I get to speak uh, for the summit. I'm just like, kind of hit me, kind of hit me, kind of hit me. I'm just like, that's a hell of an opportunity. So I'm thinking, what am I going to talk about? Getting with Alicia. What am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? I'm going to give you something that today that you're going to take and it's going to, it's going to click with you instantly. You're going to understand yourself better than, than you do when you walked in those doors. So when you leave, you're going to start asking yourself a lot of questions. So that was my main objective today, to present to you guys on something that we use with our players, 17 to 22 year olds, and we have to mold them. So there's a lot of pressure at Ohio State, right? The block O means something. It means something very special for all those that came before us, for all those that are here now, all those that are about to come, they just don't realize what it is until they're here or they left. And that's the thing that you guys need to realize too. You don't realize how good you have it and where you're at now. So appreciating the now, being in the now, because some of you guys are sitting upright, some of you guys are slouching, and it just tells me that your body language sucks. It's reality. There's perception and reality. So today, through all this, all this, all this material that we're going to go through, you guys, there's a perception about yourself. There's also a reality. And so today I'm gonna to help you just kind of bring to reality kind of who you are through the uh, methods and the systems that we have in place at Ohio State. So, what kind of standards exist within your walls? So everyone, raise your hand if, if you think you're a leader. Some cats didn't even raise their hand. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again. Raise your hand if you think you're a leader. Okay, cool. Some cats still didn't raise their hand. Every day you're experienced by your behaviors, how you do it, how you don't do it, and what you don't do. You're experienced by somebody else. You might have to lead a household. You might have to lead a weight room. Can you lead yourself? So that's why I kind of got a little bit salty there. Some people didn't raise their hand. So I'm, my biggest thing, how I present, I'm, I'm very passionate now. So it's going to be a little uncomfortable for some of you because I'm going to ask some people to engage and be engaged in this conversation. So when I ask you something, I hope you have the answer because it's really about yourself. Um, what, uh, what we're going to go through here is just a, a little clip just to get you guys acclimated to what I get to experience and blessed to experience every single day. So take a peek. old-time great fighters after watching these films, watching their opponents, watching their spouse, watching how they fought, watching the footwork and their speed. And my critics will admit that I am the fastest heavyweight in history boxing with feet and hands. It may come as a shock to you, but I say that I would have beat every heavyweight that ever lived before me. It's impossible, tell me. It's impossible. 
If you're a lady, grab somebody today. Go we'll take it with you. Today is that time. Of day. You can feel it. You can sense it. I told you, I'm the real champion. I told you, I'm the champion of all. All of it all. All of my critics all. Got you thinking now, right? It's got some emotion, some blood. Blood is pumping. Your heart's going a little bit. Everyone's been there. Everyone's been passionate about something. We're passionate about this. We're passionate about Ohio State. We're passionate about what we do. Our goal is to be the best. Our goal is to be elite. With all that comes great responsibility. So that my question earlier to you guys was, are you a leader? Yes, absolutely. In some way, some shape, some form, you are a leader. You are seen, heard, and felt every single day. Every single day. And within our walls, those pressures are high, those responsibilities are high. So guess what, you gotta be in check every single day. It's kinda of like um, Jeremy was talking about and, and Jim was talking about some of those, those leadership responsibilities. They give those guys opportunities to go lead and, and do something different and lead those groups. And you, you experience that every single day. So I'm gonna kinda of go over our template and what we do and how we structure what our system is. So sometimes, you know, you go about your day, you go about your work, you go about your business, and you just, it's kind of there. There's not a lot of clarity to it. It's just there. Now I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to learn a system. So you can put a system in place for you, for your life, for your work, for your athletes. So here's our system. Here's our performance pathway. Leaders, leaders push the culture that drive the behavior that yield the results. So you see those, those, those arrows that are enhancing one another, culture and behavior, culture and behavior. You hear a lot about culture nowadays. You hear a lot about behaviors nowadays. You're like, man, I, I, sure just, I just want results. But how do you get there? There's a point A and then there's a point B. There's a point A and there's a point B. So you, you have an athlete, he just got to you, he's a freshman. You might have a client that just came to you and says, I, I want to be better than what I, what, what, I, what I was today. I want to be somebody better than I am right now. I, I want to do this, I want to do that. People have goals. Sometimes people don't even know their own goals. So through this, this performance pathway, we're gonna give you a lot of clarity, a lot of clarity on what your systems are and really kind of who you are as a coach. So as we dive into this thing, leadership. Our leadership template, right? So Coach Meyer's a leader, I'm a leader, Coach Mick's a leader, Greg Schiano's a leader, Gene Smith's a leader. Everybody that works at Ohio State is a leader in some way, shape, or form. You, your behaviors and your responsibilities impact others. So therefore, that makes you a leader. So that's why I kind of got salty when nobody raised, some people didn't raise their hand earlier. You are. And guess what, you gotta accept it. Perception, reality. So, leadership, earn trust. So say day one, you start up an own business. You don't have a lot of trust built. But some way, you have to develop that trust with that client. You have to develop that trust with your athlete. Because if they don't trust you, they're probably not gonna work hard for you. Next thing, set a clear standard. So what is it? It's gotta be clear as day. I want you in the weight room by 5.55, and we're gonna train. We're gonna start training at six. I'm gonna give you five minute leeway. We're gonna train right at six, that's pretty clear. Or you can say something along the lines, we're gonna train in the morning. Which one's better? First one, right? Gave clarity, clarity of purpose. So as you direct yourself, you direct your athletes, 
a lot of things happen, a lot of problems happen because of lack of clarity. Sometimes it happens from an administration standpoint. Sometimes it comes from a player standpoint because they didn't listen. Sometimes coaches just want to coach, 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 but they don't take the time to actually listen to the athlete. They just, they just hear things. So it's a two-way street. And then last thing, equip and inspire to meet those standards. So here's our standard at Ohio State. You might be a freshman coming in, and you're down here. You just kind of don't know, kind of don't know. So our job, you start here, we got to get you to here. So here's a, there's our leadership piece. Next, okay, as, as I talk to you guys, you got to understand the power and influence of yourself. Before you try and work with athletes, before you got to try and, you know, design the best program or talk about how you're going to squat, if it's going to be parallel, if it's going to be sports squat, or it's going to be box squat, because it doesn't really matter. You got to find out really who you are before you lead a bunch of young kids. You might be leading a 55-year-old CEO of some company that just doesn't really want to know. He just wants to be better than he was yesterday. He wants something to push. He wants some, some drive, some competitive edge. He wants to compete. He wants to drop his body fat. He wants to look better for his wife. Sometimes that's just it. The power of one, once you start to absorb this and you start to, to merge all these personnel within one room, then it becomes pretty scary. So when you develop a room like this, with these leaders, it becomes an unstoppable force. So our goal is to be the best, right? To be the best, to be elite. You gotta surround yourself with those type of people. So, with that in mind, as we roll through culture, what we believe, how we behave, and the experience we deliver to one another. Every day you walked in, that you walk through these doors, you walk into the doors of your weight room, you walk into the doors of your house, people experience you some way. Your kids experience you some way, your friends experience you some way. I walk into the, the, the doors of the weight room, I get to work with the best strength staff in the country, and we all say what's up to every, everybody in the morning, and it's just like, I know, I know I'm surrounded by greatness. I'm surrounded by a lot of great strength coaches, a lot of great people, and that, it, it makes me appreciate what I get to do every single day, but more so, it's the athletes. I get to experience them, I get to see them grow. I get to see them come in and they're just like, they couldn't move really well when they got here. They struggled, they lost a parent. All of a sudden they have these dreams to become somebody that is it's so far down the road they can't even fathom of what they want to be. But guess what, we took it step by step. Step by step, you guys hear that Whitney Houston song, Step by Step? It's Koshiana, one of Koshiana's favorite songs. Keep that in mind. But we're experienced, like it or not. So if you're in a leadership role, you know, it's, it's funny, I, I was talking to Jeremy yesterday, I never met Jeremy before, we kind of just talked, we got to the compound, and uh, he was talking, we, we ended up talking about his role and, and everything, and then he's just like, he starts talking, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, sorry, I'm just in a foul, ugly mood. And it's like, he kind of like just set himself, he realized like, he was going down a, a wrong path, he was like complaining a little bit, and all of a sudden he's just like, kind of jolted himself and got kind of back on track. We experience it sometimes, Conscious competence, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we experience ourselves and you just don't really know what's going on until it hits you, you're like, that was it. That was that moment that I could have helped that kid or that was that moment that I could have coached that up, but I didn't. So I'll give you some more clarity as we uh, expand on that. Behaviors. So here's our culture playbook. <laughs> 